residents of Anambra State have complained of notifications they have received from the state government urging them to pay outrageous taxes. They said it was too early for the state governor, Professor Chuku Masoludu, to introduce a tax regime that will further worsen the yoke in the prevailing economic circumstances. Soludo was sworn in as the sixth executive governor of the state on March 17th. A media practitioner based in Lagos, Fred Chuku Elube, said he received such tax notification with utmost surprise, stating that had no business in Anambra state to warrant him being taxed. Who? The message sent to him by the state government read, Dear Fred, you are in default of remitting 175,112 naira, 175, naira as personal income tax for 2021 to Anambra state government. Pay now to avoid further penalties. Reacting, Chukwe Lubi said, The above last form has been demanding personal income tax from me from the Anambra state government. See the latest warning I got from the platform. I don't know what it means and how they come about the humongous sum as personal income tax for poor me. I live in Lagos and I am not in default in my pay. Okay, in my pay, uh, why is an ambassador demanding another task from me when I don't live in the state nor make a living there? Please, who knows about this? Is it real? Ah, uh, I think from the way this whole thing is sounding, I don't think it's, it is real. Well, let's let them come and defend this. Another resident who gave his name simply as Jude said he received a similar message asking him to pay his tax or face sanctions. Jude's notification read, Dear Jude, you are in default of remitting 175,103 Naira as personal income tax for 2021 to Anambra State Government. Pay now to avoid further penalties. Another resident showed a correspondence is notifications. Thus, dear Vincent, you are in default of remitting but at the same 175. You know, he doesn't do more than that. Well, um, Vincent added, can you people imagine this uh, test I received? Am I a contractor? My pay is deducted as source or is it the implementation of the new policy that journalists must pay tax? Reacting, the resident said he don't say to Soludo has come. No escape for anybody. A resident who condemned the development said they are even sending the demand notice to pensioners who have retired from public service, hence showing the ridiculous nature of their action. They should know that personal income tax is governed by law and it is not what you just wake up and start demanding from people. You don't know their tax... Uh, okay, from people. You don't know their uh, tax status and level of income. Some people are not liable to pay personal income tax and there are those who income is not taxable due to its low or poor nature. Reacting to the development, the deputy director and taxpayer education and enlightenment team of the Anambra Internal Revenue Service Service Siva Tochuku Ngigi acknowledged that the notifications emanated from the government. Who? Hey. Ah, it don't read. She urged those who receive such tax notifications not to ignore is to avoid grave consequences. She said those who got such messages should come to the Anambra Internal Revenue Service in Oka for clarification in their own interest. To ignore such a message may be catastrophic in nature. The Anambra State Internal Revenue Service had in the commencement of the Solido government said it will begin aggressive enforcement of payments of outstanding tax bills in the state from April 1st. Richard Madebo. The new chairman of AIRS said the enforcement would include social bills, signage, and waste management. It was gathered that the state government had had an outstanding bill of 513.9 billion naira payable by no fewer than 2.1 million taxpayers in the state. The amount was captured in the database under the Anambra Social Service Identity Number. A source in the agency said. We have generated a total collectible bill of 
13.9 billion naira as at January 2022 against 2.1 million taxpayers in the state. This means that if we can ensure payments of this bill by indebted individuals and they begin to make payments, the government will have a lot of money. And what would they do with a lot of money to share it? <laughs> I hope this man is not going to be all other governors. You will not share it to pay your to fund your lifestyle because that's just what I see that these guys are doing. Because if you want to equate what they do with what they collect, he does it doesn't match at all. So it's just like you are just paying them just for them to be there. Because in the real sense, it is only when it comes to tax taxes like this that you see all these politicians, they are so, 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 so engrossed. They are so serious about it. But when it comes to what an individual will benefit, they will not tell you there's no money. What are the infrastructures on ground that everybody will benefit from? No, you can't get it. This means that if we can assure, ensure payments of this bill by indebted individuals and they begin to make payments, the government will have a lot of money. The source urge Anambra residents to check the ANSSID portal for their status and proceed with relevant actions of filing and payments. The source added the enforcement team from ARS will be enforcing payments of taxes and levies, including business premises, permits, waste management, signage, and fire service compliance. So what of somebody who is not even living in that place? I don't understand. If you receive such through your phone, kindly reply them. The personal income tax message was not delivered because of non-NIN registration. Okay, Solido can't approve such ridiculous exercise. Something must be wrong. Let's wait for government response. Hmm. Please do not make any conclusions hastily. Kindly create time to meet the revenue service and clear any doubts. Anambra must be developed and all taxable individuals need to be patriotic. Many of us travel to the Western world and enjoy the benefits of tax payment. Okay. It will not be bad for us to contribute necessarily. They are not addressing the issue. Someone who isn't residing in Anambra, Anambra who isn't working in Anambra and pays uh, payee deducted from such in Lagos, Abuja or Sepotakot, how do you expect such person to come to pay you what you are demanding? It seems like uh, you are a bad citizen. Just leave Anambra State and return to Lagos State where you must pay to develop Yoruba communities and where Igbos are living like satellites and Festac will be like bush in Anambra. Let them check their record before intimidating someone with SMS of tax default. I left Anambra since 2017 and uh, the company that brought me there has liquidated. Where do I now get money to pay tax for the job that is not available? <laughs> the job that is not available. So guys, let's know your thoughts on this.